Well, alright, hello YouTube, Lamb, my name is Wildboy5699, welcome back to another video, and today I'm doing an updated uh, video on my Nintendo Switch collection because it's grown uh, in the past year. Um, I'm going to show off my Switch games and my Switch as well, then I'm going to tell you the story about how I was able to get a Nintendo Switch uh, five, four years after the release, or five years after the release of, Nintendo, of the Switch itself. Um, but anyway, I wanted to show, like I said, I have a total of a couple of different games. I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 games, physical games, and one digital game. And first off, I just wanted to show off the Switch itself, because I never got to show it off in a video. This is the Nintendo Switch I have. I bought it, I bought it at Walmart because... I got approved for the Affirm program because they took away the layaway program and replaced it with the Affirm program, which means if you get approved, you're able to buy electronics, computers, games, and all that for a small down payment fee, and you can pay it over time. I got approved. I bought three things. I bought the Switch, a laptop, and a TV for my brother for Christmas, and that cost like $900 altogether. But I only had to pay like 130 at the at one time uh, at the beginning, and I was able to get it that same day, and I'm making like $40 monthly payment as well. So anyway, I'm going to talk about the Switch. This is the Switch it came with. It's got the blue Joy-Con and the um, red Joy-Con Switch it off and all that. And I also have the dock. I thought the dock was broken, but I was able to fix it. So we got the front and got the back. So I got the Affirm with that, obviously. And this is what it looks like on that. And all the games I have on here are physical games that I have. I have one digital. I have um, these. I have YouTube. Uh, Hulu's also on here. Let me go to the software. This is all I have on here. I got, well, actually, I have Uno and Pokemon United are the digital ones I have. But that's pretty much the Switch I wanted to show off and that. So, that. So, uh, these are not really in particular any alphabetical order. Um, I just, these are just games because I'm honestly too lazy and not have the energy to set, uh, go through and put them in alphabetical order at the moment. So just bear with me with all this and all that. So anyway, without further ado, let's jump into the games. The first one I want to show off is the Five Nights at Freddy's uh, Core Collection. This is a total of the four uh, the four games. First Five Nights at Freddy's four the four Five Nights at Freddy's games plus the sister location game. Uh, this was I picked this up at Walmart for about thirty bucks. You got the front, spine, and the back. It is rated T for teen. It's got the first, like I said, all the f Five Nights at Freddy's, and you got the cartridge right. here. Here in the back on it has that as well. So that is the Five Nights at Freddy's Core Collection. Next we got is the Grand Theft Auto Definitive Edition Trilogy. Funny story, I picked this up like literally a day after it came out at Walmart. I ended up losing my original copy. This is the second copy I picked up today. I ended up losing my original copy. I have no idea where it went to. I cleaned up this room a while back and I had no idea where it went off to. It's probably somewhere stuck in my nasty ass closet that I haven't cleaned up yet. Um, or throw it out when I was cleaning out, I didn't realize it, but anyway, I lost it. Uh, I did end up picking up another copy to, for Best Buy. With my Best Buy credit card, you got the, um, it's got the three games. Uh, Vi three, Vice City and San Andreas. My favorite one on here is obviously Vice City because it's the game I grew up with. You got the front, you got the spine, and the back. And it's rated down for Mature, obviously. And, um, yeah. Not much to show on the booklet. And then you got the, um cartridge as well with those all three games made by Rockstar and Grove Street games so that is the Grand Theft Auto Definitive Edition next up we have the 2017 game uh, Sonic Mania uh, I picked this up at a local game store for like 20, 10 bucks or something so you got Sonic Mania this was released in 2017 and uh, I also well I was I think I have a no I don't have a few PS4 I thought I did but I actually don't so you got the front by all the spines on here in red in the back it's got basically old school levels with the sonic genesis game and all that good stuff so it's made by sega obviously <coughs> a sega game on the nintendo on a nintendo console and that's what it looks like on the inside you got a uh, thing with that eShop and all that which is expired and all that and you got the cartridge right here a little blurry so that is the um sonic mania on the nintendo switch Next up we have, it's probably one of my favorite ones I have in the collection, and that of course is Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. I also have it on the PS4 as well. I did a comparison video on that, on the game as well, because I picked it up. 
I uh, pre-ordered the Nintendo Switch version from Best Buy, and it came a day late, so I ended up going to GameStop. Originally, they went to Walmart to pick it up, but they didn't have it on the shelves. They never even had it on the fucking shelves. I've been there last year. They never have it. I've seen it at GameStop. I've seen physical copies at Best Buy. But, funny story, the physical, the digital, it was, uh, was supposed to come out June 30th, which it did digitally. And the physical copy kept getting delayed. It was originally supposed to release the same day. The digital came out, and it got pushed back to August. 31st and I got pushed back to September 22nd and then again to October 8th and it was just like wow that's ridiculous I just wanted to have a physical copy some a, a game that's actually a physical copy and because I want to have the good stuff which I've shown you guys many times I'm not going to go through that but uh, I love this game a lot this game the game means uh, really so much to me but you got the front and the spine and the back and it talks about side stories and all that rated info mature so you got that with all the goodies inside. You got the three girls right there. And behind there is Monica. And then you got the cartridge right there. So it doesn't... I mean, it's funny because people who have never heard of this game, people are like, this is a rated M game. What the hell's M about it? But anyway, uh, it appears it starts off as a funny... I like people like... Because it's like, oh, it's originally a day in Sam and then turns into something really downhill. It really scary stuff. But anyway, that's Doki Doki Electric Club Plus. Next up we have is The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Let me zoom out a little bit, see if that works. Breath of the Wild. This was released one of the first, this was probably the first game to release on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, it's a relaxing, shit. It is a relaxing game. It, I like playing it every now and then. Uh, I, of course, when I, if anybody who has a Switch, they have to get this, they have to get this game because this is the one that started off the Switch. You can also pick it up on Wii U. But I think the Wii U, because I guess somebody said they were going to go out of something and the Wii U is going to be cost, go way up high along with the games as well. So that's the front, got the spine, and the back. And uh, I heard that the um, Legend of Zelda 2, Breath of the Wild 2 was supposed to come out this year, but it didn't. And I like the background, I like the cover art on the back, that's really cool. And then you got the cartridge right there. And I'm not, this is the only Zelda game I've ever played in my life. I just needed to get it because I just needed a part of my collection like everyone else has. So that is the uh, Legend of Zelda, The Breath of the Wild. Next up we got is um, Mario and Sonic at the Olympics 2020. This was the re uh, one that they released for the 20 Olymp 2020 Olympic Games that got pushed back to 2021 because of COVID and all that shit. And then they had the Olympic winter games like six months later which is they don't do that so hopefully nothing have hopefully they make another one for 2024 but this is the mario and sonic crossover with sonic and mario at the olympics you got the front you got the spine and the back and all that stuff not much to show on that besides that and the cartridge so that is uh, Mario and Sonic at the Olympics 2020, Tokyo 2020. Next up is one of the, also one of the first games I picked up for the Switch, and that is Super Mario 3D All Stars. This game is it's expensive as hell. This physical is really expensive. This is um, the Super Mario 3D All Stars with update 3D graphics. You got Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, and Super Mario Galaxy. It's ready for everyone. And you know it's funny because I was like, oh, Super Mario 64 only takes place in one place. You just jump in pictures and all that, so it's really cool. So you got the front. Spine and the bag. He shows graphics. You also get the soundtrack on each game as well. You got the Sig Sigma 64 release on Nintendo 64, um, Super Mario Sunshine on Nintendo GameCube, and Super Mario Galaxy on Wii. It's pretty cool that you get these games on three different generation new consoles. You get one for the Nintendo 64, the GameCube, and the um, Wii as well. So that's really cool. So you got each of those games. Super Mario 3D All Stars. Next up we have is another Sonic game, and that is Sonic Forces. This was released actually the same year as uh, Sonic Mania. And it's really, really interesting. Uh, a lot of people did not like this game. People think Tails is a crybaby bitch in this game, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, you got the front. I don't think even think I showed the cartridge on that. Let me show you the cover art and all that. So that's that. That's really cool. So shut that back up. And then we got yeah, Sonic Forces. Uh, nothing again, nothing on the cover art and all that, which sucks. So, anyway, that's Sonic Mania. Next up we have is Sonic Colors Ultimate. The original Sonic Colors was released on the Wii, I think back in 2010, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, you got the front, spine, dropped it again. Oh, fuck me. And the back, and you got a code on there. This was one of the first games I picked up, so I think it's already expired. You got the cartridge right there. So that is Sonic Colors Ultimate. Next up is a Crash Bandicoot game. 
Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about time. Notice the tear on the sticker on that. I picked up a video game store used, so I should I know I should know better to pick up my Nintendo Switch games new because sometimes my local game store you either pay them used with the same amount price as brand new or you just or they is either like ten dollars cheaper, so I just rather go use a brand new and not worry about scratches and all that. <clears throat> so you got the front, spine, and the back. Nothing much other than that besides that. So that is Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. Next up is a game I probably play way too much, and that is Team Sonic Racing. This is that this was released in 2019. I played this before. I was gonna do a video of doing it on a capture card and all that, but it just doesn't work out. So you got the front, spine, and the back. It's got some good stuff on there as well. So that's the team Team Sonic Racing. Next up we got is another Mario game, and that is Super Mario Maker 2. Uh, Super Mario Maker 1 was released uh, on the in the um, uh, Wii U in 2015. I've thought about getting a Wii U, but it's like $150 and all that, and uh, it's I think they're going to discontinue it or I uh, discontinue or something. Our price is going to go up by the first year or something like that. So I'm not even interested again in that because I heard it was a dead console. It failed miserably and all that. So you got the front, spine, and the back. And I got a nice little artwork on the back artwork. So you got that. Really cool. I've tried to... I don't know how to... I've tried building levels on there. It's kind of hard and all that. But, you know, it is what it is. So that is Super Mario Maker 2. Next up we got is... Um, SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydration. Rehydrated. Uh, this is the uh, uh, updated version. Or I re-edited re re it or whatever you call it. Uh, Battle for Bikini Bottom for the PS2, GameCube, and all that. I have the original on the Game Boy version. You got the front, spine, and the back. And no artwork on there as usual. That is SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. Last but not least, one of the recent ones I picked up, and that is Nintendo Switch Sports. Now, this is kind of an updated version to the Nintendo, uh, Nintendo Wii Sports thing. Uh, I, I picked this up the same day I got a proof of my Best Buy credit card. I wanted to get an ad game for my, another game on my Switch because they said you can get the games and all that as well. <coughs> got a proof for $1,000, so I was able to spend up $1,000 to Best Buy, which I wasn't about to say no. Got a nice little box artwork on there as well. And on the um, and on here as well, you get the game, which I'll show you guys in a minute. And then also you get the um, a strap. For, I think you get the strap. Yeah, you get the strap, but I don't know, don't know where it went off to. But you also get a strap for the um, for when you play soccer and all that. You get that, and you use it for when you play like I don't know, like soccer or yeah, soccer and all that. So that's really cool. So anyway, like I said, the box work was really cool. I like used to have the box work, and then you also you get like uh, oh, let's put, and let me show you this as well because it shows on the back. And you get volleyball, badminton, bowling, soccer. Um, Chambara, whatever that is, in tennis. And me and my brother have done the bowling and the tennis and the badminton. That's really, it's really fun. I really like doing that. And then also you got the Nintendo Sports case, front, back, spine, and back. And then also you got the areas of the cities and all that. So it's really cool and all that as well. So, uh, so I'm gonna keep the box because I want to keep the box obviously. Let's see if I can put the game back in here. Better put the game in there first and all that good shit. Damn it. Dude, I just dropped everything. I don't know what's wrong with me today. I'll be okay. But anyway, yeah. So. Yeah, I'm not going to edit this video besides the opening and ending. So, deal with it. But anyway, that is the Nintendo S S Switch Sports. Anyway, that's all the games I have. I'm going to show you guys one more time. There's the Nintendo Switch Sports. Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. Super Mario Maker 2. Team Sonic Racing, Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about time, Sonic Colors Ultimate, Sonic Forces, Super Mario 3D All-Stars, Mario and Sonic at the Olympics Tokyo 2020, Legend of Zelda The Breath of the Wild, Doki Doki Literature Club Plus, Sonic Mania, Grand Theft Auto The Definitive Edition, 
and Five Nights at Freddy's core collection. And last but not least, my Nintendo Switch. Gotta have that for other games. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you rate with a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Be sure to check my social medias down below. Thank you guys a lot for watching. I'll see you on the future video. Take it easy.